Welcome to Final Call for Web Service Access Keys. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, for the last couple of days, I met in every support organization working at different partners uh, on BC have been getting, getting a message about this guy. Uh, web service access key is no longer supported. Contact your administrator immediately to resolve the problem. Um, so this has been this message has been shown to any user, normal users, anybody, not only to supers and 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 and, and the like, but to to anybody. And um, what do every uh, every user do? They call up their admin and say. Hey, it tells me that I have a problem and I need to contact you to get it fixed. So thanks for keeping us at work, Microsoft. Uh, but on the same time, I, I do understand what is going on. And what is going on is that, you know, a year ago or something like that, Microsoft said, hey, web service access keys are going away. Actually, that that is... That is actually not what's happening. What is happening is basic authentication to web services are going away. And we use the web service access key as the password in basic authentication. So when we're authenticating against a web service, there's different ways we can do this. One of them used to be and and will be for a week more is that we have a username and a password. And we whenever we call the web service, we get the username and password and we get access. Um, the web service access key is just the password in, in this equation. Um, but we need, everybody needs to switch to OAuth, uh, which is a different way of authenticating. Uh, there is a handful of videos on the channel about how to do that. Uh, so I'm not going to get into that in this video. You can, you can search the, you may, may already have seen the, the videos if you're a subscriber. If not, I, you know, suggest uh, subscribing, then there's both OAuth and unicorns. Um, so these things are going away and Microsoft uh, in, uh, originally planned to uh, stop uh, supporting basic authentication because it's not very safe, basic authentication uh, in April, but they looked at uh, telemetry and saw how many uh, tenants were still using it so so they gave people six months more and so now six months has almost passed uh, and people have said, oh, our password uh, based uh, authentication works great uh, and and I my guess is that Microsoft has seen that how many are still using uh, basic authentication so now they're now they're giving us this uh, and say okay guys get it together um but the the problem with this thing is that it's both very helpful and 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 effective but it's also very very unhelpful and and not very effective because one or more of your environments are using web service access key uh okay which one, how, what, what do I do? If I get to learn more that we are, we're going to a doc uh, page. So that's really no help. So let me show you how we can get to the bottom of this and, and, and figure out what's going on. So you can, you can fix it before we hit October 1st. So let me get rid of this screenshot somebody sent me. And actually now we need to start in, in admin center because we're going to use telemetry. Uh, so telemetry is a way to collect information on what's going on and, and look at that afterwards. And web service access are recorded in telemetry. So we have an opportunity to, um, to see what's going on. But in order to do that, your environment needs to have a application inside account connected. So in a, where you actually create the... Um, the uh, the the account. Let me close this one. Is that you create a uh, application insight uh, ac account? I don't know what the instance something, a thing, in in the Azure portal. So portal.azure.com, and you open up application insights, and you create what 
what we have here now, which is an application inside thing. That will give us a connection string here that we can put into Business Central. Then let it uh, boil for, for a day or so, so you get some data collected. And when you have some data collected, what we can do is that we can go into just inside the portal, uh, Azure portal again, go into logs, and uh, we can create a query. Um, and, oops, let me get rid of those. So the query we can create, and, and it's actually in, in the comment or in, in the description under the video. So that's the one I'm pasting in here, this guy. And we can just try to, to run it. I don't think there's anything in this environment, so we'll probably just give a no result, but I got some results that we can look at uh, in a minute from something way more interesting than, than this. But let's look at the query and see what's actually happening. So we're looking at traces. So whenever something happens, uh, a, a trace is recorded. And and right now we're saying that, okay, I'll, I'll look at the last seven days. That's probably a good uh, period to kind of look if there's something that is running once in a while and, and is using uh, uh, the web service. Then we're looking at only want to see if this if operation name is is web service call or if this is uh, in custom dimensions the event ID is RT0008. Here and then the, we got the important part where two string custom dimensions dot HTTP headers, which is a, a a JSON structure. So we just grab a string and say, if the word basic is in the HTTP headers, then basic authentication has been used. After that, we grab a bunch of fields, timestamp, a tenant ID, environment name, environment type, company name, what objects has been used. Uh, what is the endpoint, the status code, and the headers again, and execution time. So I, uh, I grabbed a query out of the GitHub uh, BC Tech examples uh, and, and modified slightly to uh, to my use here. Um, and if I run this on something else, and what I did was that I um, I ran it and then I used the export function uh, here to get something like this. So this is actually from uh, somebody who had that error. And um, these are, so we can see that, well, quite often. So this is a, a, a high traffic uh, place on their production environments, calling page 50,050 through OData v4. Um, and and there's the, the endpoint, and we got a two, 200 HTTP status. And we can see that the uh, authorization is basic and then redacted so we don't see the actual username password here. Um, so this is this is a uh, basic authentication and and by using a uh, you know a, just a bit of um, bit of Excel magic, suddenly we can actually see that. Um, uh, what about let's do the endpoints? That's probably a good thing to look at. Um, and this is not that big, but we can see here that in this case, yeah, it's calling the, the customer info thing, which we can see here. There's, it's also calling uh, purchase approval, request entries and purchase invoice. That sounds like, that sounds like a Continia uh, installation where it has not been switched over to uh, OAuth for unknown reason. And then I think uh, here the, it's called general ledger entry. So I believe that's probably a, a, a Power BI query. So probably an old one that was created years ago that is still running once in a while and 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 and, gr and grabbing data for a report. And that one is still using a, using a basic authentication. But but ignore the one that just says company or, or, or metadata because that, that doesn't really help because a lot of things are querying that all the time. Uh, but use these endpoints to figure out, okay, who, what, what out there could be using those specific endpoints? Um, 
And uh, in this case, well, we we knew what was calling the customer info, so so that one is already fixed. Uh, and I think somebody is in the process of, of making sure that Continuum is using the right authentication. Um, so this helped tremendously more than a message saying that you got a problem in one or more of your environments. Uh, so now here we, we know what environment, we know what endpoints, and, uh, and, and that will give us a pretty good idea of um, how to solve this before we hit October 1st. Um, anyway, the query is uh, is under the video, so you can go check that out yourself. Um, and hopefully you do not have any of these. Of course you don't, because you're a way better human than I am. Uh, but, but if you do have them, then now you can check which one uh, Microsoft is complaining about, so you're ready. And uh, when you're done doing that, you can check out this video for more exciting AL content. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.